Hello everyone, my name is Monica. Welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. So I've made this video after a while now. I've taken a short break from um, all my readings and that was to just recharge myself energetically again. Um, sometimes it does feel a bit overwhelming so it's important to step back and I spent a lot of time just meditating quite a lot. So now when I feel my battery is recharged again, I'm here back with a new pick a card reading. And in today's reading, we're going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he or she wish they could tell you? There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the yellow flower. The second pile, the green flower. And the third pile, the blue flower. So please take a moment, visualize your person and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on the cards. If you're ready, let's move to the first pal, the yellow flower. Welcome pal one, all those who've chosen the yellow flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he or she wish they could tell you? Okay, so first we have here, woman holding a heart. Okay. Flexible. Coming together. Right, we have challenging times. Door to romance. And no place like home. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Yeah? Okay, so part one. What does your person wish to tell you? So we have three cards over here, which is showing a heart. There is no bigger coincidence than this, that this is definitely a romantic connection, a romantic relationship you're thinking about. And because these cards over here are meant to show what does your person wish they could tell you, definitely they want to tell you that they still do have feelings and emotions here towards you. If you don't know that, your person truly loves you, no matter where they are right now, no matter what's happening in your connection or situation, they do have a lot of feelings here towards you. <clears throat> So let's start with this door to romance. So as you can see, there is a cage over here with a heart inside and there is a lock and you are the key to the heart. They know this and this is what they wish. They could tell you that you are the only one for them. You're the only one who makes their heart glow, who makes them happy. There could be people around them here who are trying to because there's so many other hearts around it. So I do feel that, uh, yes, your person could be surrounded by people who are um, trying to express themselves or trying to um, attract your partner over here, it seems. But for your person, you are the only one in their heart and no one else can enter their heart but you. And this is what they wish to tell you that even though there's so many people around me, even though so many people are showing interest around me, I'm not interested in anyone but you. So with this card though, I do also feel that there is a situation where your person is stuck in right now because this heart is behind closed doors. So first of all, it could be where your connection um, is in a secret. So possibly that many people don't know about um, your situation and because this is behind closed doors. So you know where your relationship is a secret right now. Some of you are probably also dealing with third parties and that could be the reason over there where you're not able to publicly express yourselves or there could be some other situations here. But this heart is also in a cage, so I feel that your person is feeling quite trapped right now. There are situations here which um, they, are, they are dealing with and it could be something which is um, very difficult for them. 
And I also feel that yes, it could be potentially a little bit serious because we have hit a card challenging times. So your person is going to an inner battle. This could be a battle of any sort. It could be a family issue they're dealing with. It could be a financial issue as well. But five is a card of changes and conflict. So there is a lot of conflict here your person is dealing with. Um, but in spite of all whatever situation they are going through right now, they want to tell you that you are in their heart. They have not forgotten you. And you are someone so special to them. No matter what happens in their life, no matter what the external situation or circumstances is, they will always keep you close to their heart. And this is what they truly wish to express to you. We have your woman holding their heart. So this makes me feel like they wish they could propose to you and they really want to. So they want to deal with the situation first, whatever they're going through right now, because they are stuck in a particular um, situation, like I said. So they want to come out of it. And once they do, it feels you like they want to propose to you. Um, things are not easy over here. So it looks like your like situation between the two of you is not easy. So with this card here, it feels like your person wants to tell you to please be flexible about the whole situation because it doesn't seem to be quite straightforward. Even with this, it seems a lot of mystery in it. And with the challenging times as well, like I said, your person is going through a lot of situation. They want to come forward and to propose to you, but um, they want you to be flexible about this whole situation. Now, why is that? Um, it's possible that, you know, for example, if it is a third party, so all that they're proposing to you right now, you might need to wait till your person is able to come out of that connection or relationship, or if they're going through some financial situation, again, you might need to hold on to them, or it could be where you might need to relocate to them and they are not able to relocate towards um, to where you are. So you might need to go to them. So it is going to ask you quite a lot. It's going to ask you more than what you can provide, but they feel that that could be the only solution to both of you coming together. As we have it, a card of coming together, they want to come towards you with this proposal and they wish that you would accept their proposal. But they feel that you would need to be very flexible in this situation and in this connection. So um, yes, it's going to ask you for more than what you can provide over here. We have it a card, no place like home. Now it's very interesting where, you know, two homes are being depicted over here. One home where they are in right now, they feel very, very trapped. <clears throat> it is very grounded because we have the grass over there. We have, you know, the land over there. So where they are right now is definitely in a 3D world, but they feel they're not able to be themselves. They're not able to, live their life in that home and this is where they wish they could be a home with you but this is very very um dreamy it's in a 5d can you see here there is it doesn't have a base over here it's not based on solid grounds but over there they feel they can live the lives of their dreams and this is what they want from you this is what they want to tell you that they want to propose to you and they wish you to accept the proposal so you both can have your the life of your dreams. But yes, it's going to take some time after they're able to deal with a particular situation and gain the courage over there. But you would need to be very flexible if you want um, this connection to work, if you want to be with them. So it's not just your person taking their heart and you accepting it and you know, happily ever after, it's going to ask from you more than what you can. So for a lot of you, like I said, I do feel it could be relocating as well. So relocating could mean a lot from you. It could mean that you might have to leave your current job to move to another job. And 
that type of situation or you might need to leave your family and friends behind here to be with your person in a little bit isolated place could be a different country here altogether so yes um, it does seem like it's going to ask a lot from you but this is what your person here wants to say that they are dealing here with a situation and once they do they would want to come to you here to build this beautiful home all right power i hope you resonated with this reading if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i am offering a personal tarot and soul reading at the moment if you'd like to request one you can find my details in the description below thank you so much goodbye welcome pal to all those who've chosen the green flower it's an honor for me to do a reading for you today in today's reading we're going to look into the person you're thinking about what does he or she wish they could tell you? Okay, so what do we have here? Oops, that's right, sorry for that. Okay, so we have here Blossoming Abundance, Yin and Yang, Listen, Confront. Deep knowing. And chaos and conflict. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Okay, part two. A lot of you here are dealing with... Um, twin flames here it seems Let me just clear this yeah so um i'm getting the energy here of soulmates and twin flame and more on the twin flame level so it's a very very um deep connection here especially with the yin and yang is the masculine and feminine energy and you both here are kind of completing each other so this is one thing which a person has realized of how deep and powerful your connection is pal to your person wish to tell you that they are going through a very very difficult period in their life right now something in their life has been shattered it's kind of like a tower moment in their card someone they believed in probably broke their trust or just the family issues could be bad or they could be going through financial crisis but there is something over here which is not going right in their life and which has shattered them very badly they wish to tell you this but i don't think they are doing it right now because we also have the card of blossoming abundance this makes me feel like they want to show you the beautiful side of their life how beautiful their life is, how much prosperity they have and all that sort. But deep within, the true story is completely something else. And they are very afraid to show you this side of theirs. They want to keep showing you this beautiful, wonderful side of their life. This is who they are. They probably don't like showing everyone what's happening in their life or they don't like showing people the weak side of their personality here because this could of course show that they're not in control of their lives, that they don't know how to control certain areas or certain aspects of their life. So what they want to tell you is, you know, my life is going beautiful. Everything is going perfect in my life. However, it is not so it's like deep within they want to tell you that things are not perfect but externally they want to still show you everything is beautiful in their life because they want you to think that they are amazing and they can't do anything wrong they are very reliable over here this situation here the conflict in the life has forced them to face their shadow side so the shadow side here is a small boy who still has a lot of fear within them but they want to show everyone that they are very strong they're very independent they're very reliable and capable so they're so afraid over here i feel here there is a boy 
Well, of course, if it's a woman you're thinking about, so it's a girl, take how it resonates, all right? But it's a small child over here who's standing and who's very afraid. And there is still this shadow over here which is falling on um, this matured person here. So yes, they are facing right now the shadow side. Whatever has happened in their life is forcing them here to face that fear of theirs so they can overcome it. They wish they could show you this side of them, but this is the side of themselves which is very hidden. You may have seen a glimpse of it, okay? Because I feel that they've allowed you to enter their world, their small world, their inner world, which people are generally not allowed, but you have seen a glimpse of that side of their lives. And they wish to tell you how scared they are, how lonely they are right now but they're not able to. So if you ever do talk to them, um, it depends if you're in communication or not, of course, but if you do, they will show you this beautiful side. Like, like I said, everything is going perfect, but they want you to still understand them without them saying anything. They wish you could listen to your intuition to know how they are doing, because they're probably not someone who will tell you what they're going through or how they're truly feeling, but they still want you to understand them without them saying anything. You do have um, a connection on a 5D level. You both communicate with each other via dreams or via telepathy, it seems here. We have two and 22 here. There is a very strong bond here and connection between the two of you. And I do feel that when your person is on their own, they do talk to you the way some of us would talk to our spirit guides, the way some of us would talk to God, if you believe in. This person over here, they talk to you and they wish that you are listening to them. They wish that you understand them and you know what you're going through without them saying anything. So they could be that sort of person where every time you have to ask them, are you sure? Are you sure you're okay? Are you sure everything is fine in your life? And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, till you keep digging in, digging in, digging in, and then know that, nope, something here is not right. Something here is definitely not right. There is, like I said, a very deep connection here between the two of you. And because your person here right now is facing their um, shadow self as well, they are going deeper within the intuition, they're listening more now, to themselves than they ever have before. Because by listening to external circumstances and situations, they know this is what they face. And that is only because they didn't listen to themselves and their intuition. And I also feel here, they want to tell you that you were right. So there could be something for some of you here where you had warned this person about, you could have warned him about a particular person or a particular situation. And they want to tell you that you were right all along. You knew it. So I feel that for pile two you're watching, you could be here more intuitive than your person or you could be someone who listens to your intuition more than your person does because your person does try to cover up that side of them. They, they do have very, very strong intuition. They are, to be fair, it looks like they could be very deep psychics as well, but they just cover that side, they just cover off that side. They don't like facing that side of theirs. Maybe they could have had experiences in the past which wasn't particularly um, great or there could be fears associated with that side when they were not ready to. Um, you know, it can be a bit daunting for some people. So it could be here where it was pretty daunting here for, for your person. But for you, you have seen the light side of your intuition. Um, if you're a psychic, you've seen the bright side of it. So you're very more open towards it and more accepting towards it. And they wish to tell you that you have always been right here in regards to this situation. And definitely you understand your person more than they understand themselves here. We have your yin and yang. So it also feels like... Um, for some of you, if your person was more in that yang energy where 
You know, they just kept doing things, but they were not actually waiting and listening to themselves. So they are more now moving towards the yin energy and balancing things. And if they were more in the yin energy where they just waited around, didn't take any action, they are coming in touch now with the yang energy, which is more towards taking actions. So they're kind of balancing things here um, in their lives. Now, this is very, very beautiful because I do feel that for all of you here who are in separation in the twin flame connection here, you are in a very high energy. I feel here it's a strong energy here for yourself. And because your person here is working towards balancing the yin and yang within them, this is going to help for both of you to be coming together as well. And there is a strong potential here for a union. I do feel that. They do definitely understand it. They do understand that you've always been right and you've always um, been correct in regards to their lives and your connection here. So they do understand this very well right now. And therefore, they want to work on themselves to balance themselves out. And this balancing is going to help the two of you in coming closer together. Right, pal too. So this is what they want to say. They want to tell you about the situation. They want to tell you that they are really scared right now and they're really afraid in facing themselves, but they are doing that. They're listening more to their intuition now. So they could have been a lot in that energy. So if they were in the masculine, they're um, coming a lot more on the feminine side. And if they were in the feminine, they're coming a lot more on the masculine side. And they are working on themselves and the higher self here knows that if they do work on themselves more, it's gonna help the two of you come together. They don't know it this consciously, but subconsciously, this is helping them to come closer to you. And they wish to tell you to please, please understand their situation without them saying a single word about it. All right, pal two, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I am offering a personal tarot and a soul reading at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details in the description below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, pal three, all those who've chosen the blue flower. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into the person you're thinking about. What does he or she wish they could tell you? Okay, so first we have here Nurture. Okay, we have Choose Your Battles. Goddess of the Moon. Happy Family. Okay, Happy Happy. and imagine. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Okay, pile three. So I'm getting two messages here from this bread. So you need to take how it resonates because I'm seeing you completely two different situations. With a happy family, okay, so if the person you're thinking about already has a family of their own and they are with a family right now. So I feel that they are very happy here with a family because we have every card here corresponding around it, which shows that your person is happy where they are right now. So um, that I feel they would want to tell you is that wherever they are right now, whoever they are with, whatever situation they are with, they wish to tell you that they are absolutely fine and they're quite um, happy in that situation. Now for the rest of you, where your person here is not in a different family situation, they probably are single or you know, even if they are in a different connection but they're not married, they don't have children as such, then it does mean that your person here wants to have a family with you. And because we also have here the card of imagine, so this person is imagining 
all the time about you. They're constantly thinking of you. They're constantly thinking of having a beautiful life with you. So please take care how it resonates, all right? So um, I'm going to move first with the second side where if your person is not with anyone else or if they're not in another family, let's start with that first. So with that, it feels like I said that your person is imagining. They want to tell you that they can't stop thinking about you and they're all the time imagining this beautiful life with you. They wish to have a family with you, children with you, and to create things with you because we also have here the card of nurturing. It's also the card here of creation. So they want to create this beautiful family with you and they do feel that, you know, um, you both could be very abundant if you come together over here. Now, it seems here that for some of you, your person could really love children because they want to see um, you being a mother or father here of their kids. So I feel here that they really love children and they want to have many children here with you, have this beautiful, beautiful life with you. And that's something which they would want to create. Now, with happy, happy here, they just can't stop thinking about this. And they do feel here that you are the key to their happiness. And they know this, they know it so well. But it seems here there is a very big obstacle here between the two of you. There is something here which they need to face, they need to overcome. But in spite of how big the situation is, it seems to be very small here in front of what their dream is. So can you see here, it's someone like a man here, but the way he's standing here in uh, front of these three figures is as if he's able to fight them off. So your person here, it has a lot of um, strength at the moment. And what they do feel right now is they're feeling very energized that no matter what the situation is, no matter how it is going to be, they feel that they have the courage and the strength here to fight that situation and to create this family with you. They've got this inner strength here. And this is what they wish, they, they wish to tell you that maybe earlier they were living in fear and they didn't have the courage and they didn't know the way out. But now, no matter what, they are going to fight here for your connection. They are going to fight to make these dreams come true and to have this beautiful family with you. And we also have here the goddess of the moon. So I feel here that your person really puts you on a pedestal. They really look up to you and they feel you so, so beautiful and intuitive. So I feel there could be a lot of feminine watching out this right now. And they do feel that no matter how you are, no matter who you are, you are just so beautiful for them. They really, they really look up to you. And there's this very beautiful feminine side to you. And you could be very intuitive as well. And they do recognize this uh, within you. And they feel that you both could be very happy together and you both are perfect for each other. And once you come together, abundance will just flow here in your life. Now, I just suddenly got this feeling. So I know in the beginning I did say, you know, distinctly two different situations over here. But I do feel that for some of you where this person is in a marriage, but they're not happy in it and they want to come out of from that marriage here, it feels that they're ready to even fight that, to be with you. And of course, you would already know if this person is in a happy relationship or not. Okay, because we have your rainbow. So um, yes, if your person is in a marriage here, which they're not happy in, and which you have been aware about that they've definitely not been happy in that situation, they are ready to face the consequences of that to be with you because they have realized that you are the only one here who can make them happy and who can keep them happy here. So this, I know it's a very um, simplified message from your person, but this is how it's just showing that they are ready to fight for you now, no matter what the situation is, because they have realized that you are the only one who can make them happy 
and with whom they can just keep creating and nurturing things here and they feel that you are like a priestess to them you know that um, beautiful queen and they want to give you all the happiness in life they want to look after you and they find you as just very you know um, like as beautiful delicate princess okay I know of course just take it the other way around but I do feel from this reading that there is a lot of feminine actually watching this so they do want to look after you they want to be there for you now and maybe where in the past they've not been able to be with you maybe even now you could be in separation here from this person and they just want to you know sort everything out and come here and be with you so going back to the first situation as well where if your person is in a marriage here and you did have doubts maybe that your person could be happy with a family it does seem that your person does want to say that they are happy with their family right now and they probably find it very difficult to continue with this situation and to carry on the way things have been going on over here and for some of them I feel that they probably would want to end things the way it has been so you know for those of you where this person has ghosted you and um you did know that this person has a family and they are potentially happy with them so if you're aware of such a situation and this person could have probably just maybe ghosted you or is not saying much that's because probably they want to try to be um, happy here with the family and they're finding it very very difficult here to face the situation or they're finding it too risky to put their um, this family here at risk because they feel that there is more to lose than gain okay so this is for those of you where you know that this person here is in a happy family connection and maybe initially your person did say that they would want to work things out etc etc but you did know that they have been going out with a the family they've been going on holidays and you did feel that you know you did know that something here is not correct and it probably just kept you hanging on over there so this is what your person wants to say but is not able to tell you here but I do feel that for a lot of you is going to the second part where they are either not in a happy marriage or they are quite single over here but they do have other obstacles in front of them to work things out towards you and I do feel also with the goddess of moon that quite a few of you could be seeing this person here in your dreams as well so there is um, a lot of connection here with your dreams so whenever you do dream at night it could be where you both here are on a 5d level connecting with each other because we have here goddess of the moon we also have it a card of the moon so um, it does feel that it is a lot with um, your dreams where you both here are communicating with each other and we have two cards here as well with seven so there are challenges here but the outcome here they do know that it can be very very beautiful however it does feel a lot here more on a dreamy level still and there is has on a 5d level things are much more difficult okay but if you both do decide of course to overcome it it could take some time because it's not easy here to fight these battles it could take some time but if you both are dreaming of the same thing if you both want the same thing there is a potential over here to make this into a reality all right paltry i hope you resonated with this reading if you did please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i am offering a personal tarot and a soul reading at the moment if you'd like to request one, you can find my details in the description below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.